So here in this problem, we are asked to calculate the electric potential. Okay, electric potential at a point with position vector r. So this is the general equation and this is a, an equation if we are considering two charges. If there are n charges, you can uh, go on adding like q3 divided by vector r minus r3 plus q4 divided by vector r minus r4 up to qn divided by vector r minus r1. You can see that all these are just magnitudes and the electric potential v is a scalar quantity. So here in this problem, they are uh, they have asked to calculate potential at this point so here vector r will be that is the main the uh, location is 101 so this is the position vector and you are asked to find the potential at this point and you have two charges so in addition you need q1 which is minus 4 into 10 raised to minus 6 coulomb then vector r1 that is location of q1 that is 2 minus 1 3 Similarly, Q2 that is 5 micro coulomb that is 5 into 10 raised to minus 6 coulomb and vector R2 will be 0, 4, minus 2. We can directly substitute in this equation and how to calculate vector R minus R1? Just subtract the corresponding coordinates 1 minus 2 that is minus 1, 0 minus minus 1 that is 1, 1 minus 3 minus 2. Similarly, vector R minus vector R2 is equal to Again 101 minus 1 minus 0, 1, 0 minus 4 and 1 minus minus 2 that is 3. You can directly substitute in this equation and you will get electric potential. So you just have to familiarize the different terms that is uh, electric potential equation you already know and vector D that is electric flux density vector e is electric field intensity okay both these are vector quantities and they are related with the equation vector d is equal to epsilon 0 e Okay, D and E are vectors, whereas this V is, that is electric potential, V, that is a scalar quantity. And how you connect V and E, the relation is E is minus del of V, that is electric field intensity is the negative gradient of electric potential. Then to calculate the total electric flux, total electric flux psi will be surface integral of d dot ds. This is how to calculate the electric flux. So, you just have to learn all these terms d, e, psi, v, etc. Okay.